Lack of public transport is one of the biggest hurdles Bangui residents say they face today as they try to return to daily life after over a year of conflict and chaos in the Central African Republic. Despite a 10% boost in the country's recently approved national budget from international partners, Bangui residents aren't too hopeful they will see improvements in many basic services. We have a serious problem because the bus drivers refuse to go to the center of town and say there's a road problem and the roads are not passable. That's why we're still waiting for an opportunity. The state descended into chaos in March last year after the northern Seleka rebels, who are mostly Muslim, seized power and unleashed months of abuses and killings on the mostly Christian south. That government's new budget will draw funds mostly from external donors. Documents show the budget will prioritize security, humanitarian assistance and paying civil servants who have been without salaries for months due to the crisis. Civil servants are not the only ones who say earning a paycheck in Bangui is difficult. Transporters are complaining that their businesses are recording losses. We've always had this problem in relation to bad roads that are hard on our cars so that we are forced to use the broken bridges since the government has abandoned us. We have to make the journey between the broken bridge and Bimbo. Since the 90s, at the insistence of donors from the World Bank especially, commerce was liberalized. Transport is one of the sectors that were liberalized. It's a private sector that runs transportation now. The state, through Sonata, is the only business of the government that runs buses. But unfortunately, the cars were stolen and trashed. So it's a private sector that's in charge of commerce, and the state is not implicated. And there you have it. You can't talk about bad governance at this level, because it's a private sector that's in charge of transportation. Earlier this month, the International Crisis Group published a report advising the Central African Republic's government to prioritize economic revival, fighting corruption and illegal trafficking alongside security. It also pushed for a close partnership between the government and international actors to improve good governance. Mahe Mutua CCTV.